the truth is all indicators lack. You don't need a single indicator if you want to succeed in trading. What you really need is a solid understanding of price action. Now, this video is for the more advanced traders. The traders who want to take their trading to the next level. So if you are still a new trader, a beginner, I will recommend you to check out the Price Action Trading Bootcamp, which is a free challenge that will help you master price action trading in 21 days. First and foremost, let's talk about breakouts. When it comes to breakouts, there are two types of breakouts. Your false breakouts that we have on the left and your true breakouts, which is the one on the right. Let's start off by talking about false breakouts because that's the one where most beginner traders get tricked into. Like I said, the biggest mistake price action traders make is that they do not know how to differentiate false breakouts from true breakouts. So in this example, let me show you what a false breakout is. You can see in this case, price was giving us a very solid upwards momentum. You can see price is just going up, going up, going up. And then we have a key resistance level right here because the last time price was up here, it did not broke past it. So key resistance level and look at what price did. Price went up, eventually breaking through the key resistance level. But in this case, look at what price did after it broke through the resistance level it went back down and eventually collapsed, right? So in this case, what we have over here is what we call the false breakout because price literally just poked his head above the key level and then next thing you know, it pulled his back, put his head back down and it just go back down. So literally tricking all these little retail traders. Now, why does this false breakouts happen? There are two reasons. Firstly, market manipulation. If you look at this chart over here, we can see clear as day, same scenario as just now. Price was making a very steady uptrend, eventually come up to this resistance level, break through it. But then the next thing you know, there's a huge amount of seller's liquidity. Huge amount of seller's liquidity right here, tricking out all the retail traders. And next thing you know, price just collapsed all the way down here, right? All the big banks, all the smart money, they were waiting for you to enter for a buy when price break through a key level. And once you enter for a buy, they know that you are got them dumb. So they're gonna enter for a sell using a huge amount of liquidity and push the price down in the opposite direction, causing this massive down move. So if you enter for a buy right here, guess what? You are a dumbass and you just got tricked. The second reason on why false breakouts can happen is could be due to the trend is ending, right? When it comes to looking at price action, you must also understand the candlesticks momentum, the candlesticks pressure. So in this case, we can see that over here, there was a huge downtrend that we have right here. Price was just going down. Price was bearish as hell. And you can see the candlesticks were big. And it starts getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller as it approaches this key support level, right? When it comes to this key level, right? Price eventually broke past it. And when it broke past it, it did not give us a lot of bearish momentum, right? It gave us small candlesticks, small candlesticks, a lot of wicks over here. This tells us that, you know what? This little trend that we have over here is ending. This downtrend that we have over here is ending. That means that most likely the trend is going to reverse and head back out, making this a false breakout. So by looking at this, this told us that the trend is ending. The overall trend is exhausted, right? So it tells us that price is going to reverse, which explains this false breakout that we have right here. Now, if you want to take advantage of this false breakouts, here's how to trade it. So over here, we have this example on GPUSD. So you can see price has been going up and we have marked up a little resistance level right here. You can see here strong momentum up, right? So there is no signs of trend exhausting anywhere. So there's a chance that this could be a real breakout. But is it really going to be a real breakout? Let's look. So you can see right here, price at a key level. So we are still waiting for price to break past it. So you wait, you wait, you can see price eventually broke past it. Okay, price broke past it. Like I said, what all the retail traders they would do is that they will immediately enter for a buy here, right? Oh my god, you should buy when price break out the resistance level, right? And then you enter for a buy here and I'm gonna place my stop loss below this key level. And then next thing you know, price eventually collapse and you go to shit, all right? So what you want to do instead is Instead of entering for a buy immediately when price break through a key level, what you can do instead is to wait to see what price is going to do. Is price going to 
continue going up, making this a true breakout, or is it gonna collapse now, making this a false breakout? So we still wait and wait, and you can see in this case, look at what price did. Price poked its head above the key resistance level, and then it went back down. So now the sellers have the power to push the price all the way down. Right, giving us a huge momentum, a huge amount of liquidity. So over here, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna enter for a sell. Enter for a sell here, and I'm gonna be placing my stop loss above this key level that we have right here. And then I'll place my take profit all the way down at the next key level, which is this key support area right here, or is rather a demand area, whatever you like to call it. So this is where we will be entering for our trade, our short position. And then look at what price did next. Price eventually collapsed, 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 and eventually went down and smashed our take profit. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna fast forward this thing. Yep, you can see eventually went down and smashed our take profit right here. So in this case, where do you think we should place our take profit? We are gonna be placing our take profit at the next key level. And if you look towards the left, there's actually a key resistance level here, which we which might now form a support level. So that's where we're gonna be placing our take profit. So as you can see, this was like about a one is the three risk to reward ratio, very lucrative. We are risking 1% to make 3%, right? So you can see, look at what price did next. Price eventually went down and smashed our take profit. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here's another example. You can see right now, price is in a downtrend instead of an uptrend just now. And in a downtrend, we are be looking at the support levels right so you can see price come down to this support level that we have over here and price is already at this support level so you still want to wait wait to see what price did and you can see oh price just broke through the support level do you enter for a sell right here no you wait you are patient you are disciplined you wait so we still wait to see what price is gonna do and in the end it is a huge bullish engulfing candlestick at this support level guys clear as day this is the false breakout clear as day there is no way that price can make this huge bullish engulfing candlestick and continue to go down like this right it doesn't work that way so in this case this tell us that the trend is exhausting right this downtrend has exhausted and right now price is going to reverse to becoming an uptrend so this is just a whole ass false breakout so in this case what you can do is to enter for a buy right here place your stop loss below this candle that we have right here take profit at the next key resistance level which is come somewhere right around here somewhere right around here will be a good key level to take profit right because over here there's a very strong resistance area so eventually you can see price went up smash our take profit and eventually like even broke past it by a lot On the other hand, we have our true breakouts, right? When price break through a key level and it continue going in that direction. So if price break through a resistance level, it's going to continue going up. Like in this case that we have right here, price was in already in a very steady upwards momentum. And then over here, price break through our key resistance level, come back down to retest it and then continue going up, right? Making this our new higher low. So continue the market structure, continue the bullish momentum. So this is our true breakouts. So how do we trade true breakouts then? Because we understand that false breakouts are a little bit tricky to trade. But true breakouts, they are even trickier. But there are two ways that will help you trade this true breakouts. Number one, we have your breakout pattern. So over here, we can see that price has been going up and it has came up to this resistance level that we have drawn right here. And price has broken past that resistance level. So in this case, like I said, what I want to do is to wait, right? Wait to see whether this is a real breakout or a false breakout. And over here, when price break through the key level, there is no signs that it's gonna go back down. So this has tell us that this is a true breakout. So once you have identified that it's a true breakout, the next question will be, where do we enter for the trade? That is when breakout pattern comes into place. You want to wait for breakout patterns. There's a lot of breakout patterns out there, be it channels, wedges, triangles, whatever you like to call it. I don't give a shit. Because to be honest with you, I don't memorize any of these freaking breakout patterns right what i do instead is to look at what price is doing after price has break past that key level so in this case we are seeing that price is consolidating so what i can do is to draw the key levels you can draw a key level right here and you can draw another key level right here so in this case this is like a consolidation right or a channel whatever you like to call it right so what i want to do is to trade the breakout of this little consolidation because i know that once price break out of this consolidation an explosive move 
it's gonna happen so over here consolidation and over here this is when price break of the consolidation so that is when i will enter for a buy and place my stop loss below this key level or even below this consolidation right here and take profit at the next key level so a pro tip is to look out for momentum candles you can see over here we have this gigantic green bullish engulfing candlestick which pretty much just confirmed to us that price is going to go up now because you can see price is broken out of this key level come back down to retest it and once you retest it this bullish engulfing candlestick confirmed to us that there's a lot of buyers right now inside the market that's going to continue pushing the price up which eventually lead to this explosive up move that we have right here now a momentum candle can either be in the form of this big candle or in the form of multiple medium-sized candles now here's another example as you can see price has already broken past the key resistance level and it has came back down to retest it so right now what we can do is to draw some sort of key levels that tell us that okay right now price is consolidating and i can actually down draw like a little downtrend line right here and then you can also draw like a little key line right here and if you look at this this is your wedges or is it triangle I, like i said i don't really know but over here what i want to do is to wait for price to break out break above this little line that we have drawn right here to confirm to us that this is a true breakout pattern so you can see price eventually broke out of it so once price broke out of it once again immediately enter for a buy right here the second way where you can trade true breakouts is to wait for small pullbacks or rather shallow retest so in this case we are still waiting for price to come back down to retest this key level then that is when we can potentially look for our entry so you can see wait for price to retest and you can see price is coming down to this level and right there this is when price has started retested it but at this point of time you shouldn't be entering the trade yet because price can still go down making this a false breakout that we have right here so we want to wait for a confirmation that tell us that this is a pullback and this is not a false breakout so we wait for the next candlestick you can see next candlestick price is give us a green candlestick so over here we know that okay price has made a small little pullback to this key level and he has given us green candlestick that is a good to go right that means that okay buyers are starting to enter for a buy right now so that is when we can potentially enter for a buy here finally enter for a buy right here place your stop loss below this key level take profit all the way up at the next key level and you can see eventually price just go up right after making this shallow pullback so bear in mind that this small little retest right is a very good strategy because small retest tell us what tell us that this is an actual retest and that is all that is it's just a retest it's not a reversal it's a retest if it's a reversal price can easily like just go back down like this but no it's a shallow retest so yeah two ways where you can trade your true breakouts is either to wait for breakout pattern or wait for price to make a small retest to the key level now with that said i want you to bear in mind that sometimes price will not even retest or not show any breakout pattern it will just break out of the key level and just continue going in that direction in this example right here you can see key level right here price did not even retested it did not even bother to retest it just broke out of this key level and just continue going up so in this case what should you do there are two things that you can do you can either look at the momentum candles at the key level and then determine whether you should take that trade if there's a lot of momentum a lot of bullish momentum pushing through a key resistance level then maybe there's a chance that there's no retest and price will just continue shooting up however the second way is to do nothing when you see trade setups like this and you have been waiting for the retest and it did not happen guess what do nothing the last thing you should do is to enter for the trade after price has already moved up by 100 pips and then you have a stop loss of 100 pips and that is just a recipe for disaster so do nothing it's okay to miss certain trade setups remember there's always opportunities in the market one bus just left the next bus is gonna come in the next five minutes when it comes to profitable trading if there's only one thing that you need to master it needs to be candlesticks momentum you must understand the candlestick speed the momentum the pressure if you can understand all these things trust me you don't need to memorize a single candlestick pattern so let's look at this chart that we have on gold so over here i want you to observe the candlesticks the size of the candlesticks the speed of the candlesticks 
whether it's telling you there's a lot of momentum or there's very less momentum. Let's look at the left. On the left hand side, we can see a clear downtrend, right? You can see this clear downtrend, price is going down, price is very, very bearish. In this case, we can see that the momentum is actually fading. How do we know that? We know that when price is heading back down to this little small little support level that we have drawn right here, the candlesticks are getting smaller and smaller. That's the first thing. The second thing is that when price approaches this support level, it stops. It stops abruptly. It stops over here and starts consolidating. This tells us that, okay, chances are the bearish momentum is gone or rather it's fading away. It's getting lesser and lesser. Price is losing momentum. So once price is losing momentum right here, guess what? Sellers is out of the market and now the buyers are taking over. The bulls are attacking the best now. The buyers are taking over, taking control over the price of gold. So at this point of time, we start seeing price consolidating, price going sideways. Price giving us multiple long week candles. You can see long weeks, long weeks, long weeks. And then there's also your doji candlesticks right here. What does all this tell us? This tells us that price is indecisive. That is a very big factor. When price tells us that it is indecisive, you must expect a reversal. Let me repeat myself. You must expect a reversal when price is indecisive like this. But with that said, you must always wait for confirmation. You can't just enter for a buy right here after you see price is consolidating because there's still a chance that price is going to consolidate, break out of this consolidation to the downside and continue this overall downtrend. But right here, we have seen that, okay, no such thing price is consolidating and eventually reverse and become an uptrend. And when price reverse to become an uptrend, look, once again, observe. Observe what the candlesticks are showing you. Big green candlesticks, big green candlesticks. This tells us that buyers are inside the market right now. There's a lot of people joining the buyers, going to the buyer side and pushing the price up. A lot of bullish momentum now. So the only thing you should do right now is to trade with the trend, is to enter for a buy right so seriously guys please take some time out to observe the candlesticks the candlesticks can tell you everything everything that the indicators can indicators are lagging but the candlesticks are not the candlesticks are literally found in real time so you can use all these candlesticks to gather data to gather market data whether you should enter for a buy or enter for a sell the key is already inside the market all you need to do is to grab it now let me show you another example you can see right now price is approaching this key support level once again in the last scenario but there's something different in this one look at what price did next price eventually pierced through this key support level with a huge bearish engulfing candlestick. Huge red candlestick guys. Instead of giving us small candlesticks over here approaching this key level, price gave us a huge red candlestick piercing through that key support level. What does this tell us? Once again, observe. Observe what the market is telling you. Listen to what the market is trying to tell you. It's telling you that the is still bearish momentum in the market. This downtrend is not ending yet. There's a chance that price is gonna continue going down right now, right? And I know all this just by looking at this one single candlestick. So yes, that's how important candlesticks are. And as you can see, price eventually go down, go down, go down, giving us a lot of bearish momentum and just continue going down. The next strategy that I'm about to show you is insane insanely profitable. Back when I was still scalping GP, JPY, I would look out for this pattern. And whenever I see this pattern on a five minute time frame, and I combine it with another confluence, right? It works. Like it literally works almost every single time. That is how powerful this strategy is. And I wanna share it with you. So listen up. So the key to this strategy is to look out for the candlesticks momentum once again. But there's this one pattern you must look out for, and that is the multiple weak rejections. Let me repeat myself, multiple weak rejections. So in this case, we are looking at GJ, and you can see this is what I call a multiple weak rejections. One, two, three, four, five, six, a few multiple weeks, right? A few weeks that is weaking at this key level that we have right here. What does this weak tell us? This week tell us that at some part of time, price got pushed all the way up here, but it always end up getting pushed down. Push up, push down, push up, push down, push up, and always, always end up pushing down back to this same level that we have right here. This tell us, this 182 level is a very strong resistance level. A very strong level that price has failed to break past multiple times. 
So price has rejected this key level multiple times and chances are it's gonna continue rejecting this key level. So what should you do next? Obviously enter for a sell. So immediately when you see these multiple rig rejections at this key level, enter for a sell right here. And I'll place my stop loss above this key level right here. Take profit all the way down at the next key level. To make this strategy extra powerful, you need another confluence. And that is the Fibonacci. So I will always use this strategy with the Fibonacci because with these two tools, it's absolutely insane, right? Just look at this. You can see right here, price is in a downtrend and you just created a new lower high. And at this new lower high, price is giving us your multiple week rejections. So over here, I'm going to draw a Fibonacci, drag it from the swing high to the swing low right here. And you can see price has managed to retrace up to the 50 retracement level as well. So right now we have multiple confluences. Number one, the Fibonacci retracement level at 50 right now. Number two, multiple weak rejections. Number three, lower high. This is market structure, right? So we have multiple confluence for us to enter for a sell. So using this Fibonacci, I'll be entering for a sell somewhere right around here and I'll take profit at the negative 27 extension level. And you can see eventually price goes down, goes down and hit our negative 27 extension level. Once again, here's another example. You can see right here, price is creating a new lower high, right? So I can draw your Fibonacci, drag it from the swing high to the swing low and price has managed to retrace all the way up to this 78.6 level. And they gave us one, two, two week rejections. It's not multiple, but two is is the minimum, right? So it's sort of good enough. So that's why you can enter for a sell right here. Place your take profit at the negative 27 extension level once again and watch price collapse. To become a price action master, I have one final tip for you. And that is to skip low probability trading setups and only take high probability trade setups. What do I mean by that? In trading, you have a limited amount of capital. Let's say today you put $1,000 into your account you only have $1,000 inside that account. That means if you lose that $1,000, guess what? You are out of the game. You automatically lose the game. That is why you need to focus on capital preservation. Capital preservation means preserving your capital for the high probability trade setups. The trades that you know for a fact that is going to work. The trades that is going to actually make you money. Not these random low chance trade setups which do not work. And a lot of us, what we do is that we'll wake up in the morning and then we'll think that, oh my God, today is the day. I'm going to make money today trading. So I'm going to go onto the charts, scan the charts and take any random trades that I see so that I can make some money. I force trades so that I can make some money. And that is the wrong mindset to have. That is the absolutely wrong trading mindset. Because by wasting your money on all these low probability trade setups, you eventually lose money, lose money, lose money. When you lose all your money, you won't have the money for the high probability trade setups, right? So use your brain, guys. Use your brain. So develop the patience to wait for the high probability trade setups. Trust me, it is absolutely worth it. These setups will make you the most amount of money. I can take 10 trades that are low quality compared to taking one trade that is insanely high quality and that gave me the highest risk to rock ratio. I'm going to make more money on that one trade compared to all the 10 shitty trades. So in trading, yes, it's all about quality, the quality of your trades. If you're still taking low quality trade setups, then why are you surprised when your trading account is low quality? Why are you surprised when you are still losing money? You are absolutely nothing but a loser. So be patient, develop the patience and the discipline enough to wait for the high probability trade setups. If you have learned something from this video, smash on the like button and make sure you check out the price action bootcamp if you still haven't. Because trust me, you can literally become a master of price action trading in just 21 days. All you have to do is to take the chance that I'm giving you. Linked in the description. And if you want to learn more about price action trading, check out this free trading courses playlist right here. And as always, remember, you're just one trade away. Mwah.